Good day. It is Tuesday, the 27th of October, 2020. I, David, going to uh, bring you some more groundbreaking, newsworthy reporting from the boat people. I, uh, I've got some, uh, some experience recently, myself and Kevin being in a private family court hearing appointment telephone scenario as most of you, a lot of you, not most, a lot of you are going through, most of you using the family uh, court system will be experiencing a telephone appointment, uh, court-based scenario, judicial um, business, uh, you know, scene there. We don't uh, agree with the uh, personage, barratry, legalese, foreign corpus, you know, environment there um, towards man, man's person, man's un- alienable, unalienable, 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 it depends how you want to say that, but it's the same word, trust me, um, rights there, and property, and access, and um, I'd like to take some time to play you a recording from a mainstream United Kingdom mouthpiece narrative that's just been brought to my attention whilst I'm sat here administering emails and uh, performing the uh, the final touches to the uh, Genesis exodus the trust of truce that we are performing with regards to the evidence of life and essence and your proclamations and um, the certification equivalent to legal identification authentication of homo sapien man authentic flesh and blood family this is why we got into this at splspro.com this is why we're here for the children for the assets for the blood for the offspring aka fam um, without further ado, here is the report from today, okay, Tuesday the 27th of October. I brought you already the results of the case law with the father and the daughter Bethany and the abuse um, and the quality care commissioner's report there. We, I, SPL, have brought you the groundbreaking case law with the prescription of uh, cannabis on the NHS for um, the son there and the mum story that I covered. And here is the third big um, story that uh, I am reporting back to you um, as follows to two and a half minutes those of you involved in private family civil um, areas and the claims and uh, affairs cases legal conundrums you will hear Sir Andrew I believe it is the highest of the judges family court civil judges the highest appointed judge speak and you will hear him blame um, domestic violence is why they're getting overrun, not because the system isn't good enough or because they've, uh, they've, they've got to change the protocols and they've had a big backlog. They won't admit to being at fault at all and listen to how they disregard um, their own systems of being infallible and put the blame onto. Look how they put it onto. If you'd like to privately mediate um, alternative dispute resolution before the litigation comes mitigation uh, mums and dads aka legally known the pair that rents the offspring arguing over where and whom should be the residential parent um, we at the trust would like to help you do this we would like to uh, work with others that would like to help do this if you are a good talker listener um, you know uh, empathetic got in touch with your emotions and you've got experience as well in family legal academic environments we'd like to hear from you email contact at splspro.com visit our pages details for all of this um, information links uh, as always will be in the video description without further ado here we go and get your ears up And uh, to join these 
hearings down the phone is particularly difficult, the particularly phone. if the parent is on their own uh, in, in their home. And um, this report provides a renewed wake-up call for courts to uh, be particularly keen to ensure that parents do understand and do feel connected and do feel engaged. Con a major part of being a family judge is to empathise uh, with the human beings at the centre of the case. Uh, and it's very difficult to do that uh, across even a video link, but very hard to on a phone link. And we're trying our hardest to achieve it, but we can always do better. <laughs> well, there's an admittance there. He's admitted they can always do better. And um, yes, parents understanding and feeling and consenting and knowing, and it's never right at the best of times. And there's, uh, it's forced by... Um, under duress and theft of property, fines, fees, forfeitures, they get their own way and they contract in. So it's not just about parents feeling, knowing and overstanding, king standing, etc. We continue. And in terms of those officials who work for the Children and Family Court Advisory Service, their workload they have seen go up considerably, haven't they? That's right. We've seen what they call a record number of cases this September. And that's nearly 6,000 cases. And the majority of those are private law cases, like that of Elizabeth, who I spoke to, where you've got parents arguing over where a child should live. But it's a really striking rise. And I asked Sir Andrew McFarlane why he thought that was, and he thought it could be down partly to a backlog in the court. But also, really worryingly, he said he thought it was down to an increase in domestic abuse. And that a backlog in the courts, or it could be domestic abuse. You heard it from them, from themselves, not from I. You know, just repeating the echoes and how they, you know, blame, um, such as Matt Hancock there. Yeah, everybody get a test if you think you might need a test. Everybody's getting a test. You've overloaded the system. <laughs> okay. More of those cases are now coming into the court. Thank you. Well, very well. Where are we going? Then so that's the end of that reporting. More later from Indy live. Um, in the chat, find us. Uh, you know where to find us on the private side, splspro.com, and also you can find that on Facebook. We'll see you soon. Set laws, grantors, principals, ambassadors, witness, diplomats, sovereigns, and initiates and masters of self and law. We love you. Thanks for the support. We'll see you soon. <laughs>